Hey, what is going on guys? Chaz here with Witness Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you guys an amazing double edge slash single edge blitz. Uh, you can send either or. And this is going to be coming out of the 46, bear under. You're going to need to pick the 46 playbook or make your own custom playbook with 46 bear under in it. And this is a defense I have run both this year and last year. And I'm going to go over the blitzing in this video and then the coverage in the next video. So, we're going to pick 46 bear under. And you can do this out of a couple different plays. For example, like uh, cover 2, LB dogs, man. I should say the man blitz, not the zone blitz. I suppose you could do the zone blitz as well. but And then cover 3. And we're going to be doing it out of cover 3. I'm going to put the offense in a pass play but with a pass play where the running back is not blocking just for now alright so let's say your opponent you know he he's been just running you know no running back blocking just typical five man block so we're gonna send single edge so what I just did was I hit Y or triangle if you're on PS3 and then flick the left stick to the right for baseline See, as you can see, I just undid the baseline. And once we have baseline, it's going to bring this linebacker into the gap, and it's going to bring this linebacker up to the line. So, really quick, just from the left of the screen to the right of the screen, I'm going to go over uh, who's out on the field, just so you can get your depth chart set up to just how you like it. Right here, we got the, I believe, the right outside linebacker, the strong safety, who is going to be in the box. And then you have, whoa, uh, you have the right end, DT, DT, and then you're going to have your left outside linebacker, and then all the way at the end is your left end. And at the left end, to me, is someone where you, you're going to want to have your best pass rusher at left end, somebody who's got good speed, good block shed. The block shed isn't totally necessary because that guy is going to be the guy that's getting free off single edge coming right towards the quarterback but it's nice to have good block shed if they do block the running back so once he gets uh stopped by the running back he's gonna shed the block and hit the quarterback quicker so like i said you are gonna want to hit y or triangle baseline it's gonna bring those guys in and then we are going to then hit lb or l1 and then with the right stick we're going to push it to the left so we are making the d-line crash left so that's what the player looks like right now and at the moment we are sending four but here's what we're going to do if you see this left outside linebacker he's on the right side of the screen on a curl to flat we are going to put him on a blitz and then we're going to take control of the middle linebacker here and we're going to bring him in the gap in between these two guys so he's just over the center off to the right and then what's gonna happen is once uh, the the quarterback snaps we're gonna get a guy free off the edge all right so let me insta replay that for you all right so as you can see, the end gets completely free because the center gets taken out of the play since you put the middle linebacker up in the gap. So it's really just taking advantage of the uh, blocking mechanics in this game. He thinks you're blitzing when really you're not. You're in coverage with the middle linebacker. All right. So now let's say uh, they start blocking the running back. And if they are consistently blocking the running back and I want to get that heat in there quick, I am sending double edge. So what we do is we do the exact same thing, baseline, and then crash the D-line left. So Y, left on, I mean right on the left stick. So Y right on the left stick and then LB left on the right stick. And then we are going to blitz both the guys in Crota Flats. So now... We are sending one, two, three, four, five, six, and the game thinks we're sending seven when we put 
Willis in the gap here. And this double edge gets in really fast, and obviously you'd have to adjust your coverages to, you know, get the best uh, pass, pass coverage with good pressure. So now, uh, I had to reach for the control here. I'm going to block the running back. And we are going to see double edge get in. As you can see, that got in no problem. Running back had to pick up one guy, and the other guy was free. So, take a look at this. Just not even... <laughs> nothing they can do about it. Um, and if you see, I left P. Wills in the gap there, but you don't have to leave them that long. Really, putting them in the gap is you just want to get the center out of the play for just a sh very, very small fraction of a second. And then he's going to be too slow to get the people that come in. So, just to show you really quick, this cannot be... um side protected against so check this out I'm just gonna send single edge running back is not gonna be blocking but let's say you know the single edge is coming off the right so preplay pass protection slide right so you know normally this stops this stops a lot of um like nano blitzes and and things like that but as you can see it did not stop. It actually, it actually hurt them even worse. Two guys got free off the right edge. So I think that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I showed you the single edge, the double edge, and um, I highly recommend setting up your depth chart. Definitely try and make you have a very fast pass rusher, 80 speed or up at the uh, left end spot. Good block sheds always a plus. In the next video, I'm going to be posting in a day or two, and I'm going to be going over the coverages and how to really maximize this play to get the best defense possible. Because I, I promise you guys, this defense is very, very tough. I've been using it this game and last game. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe. Part 2 is going to be coming your way very soon. So peace out.